I quit. Quit squatting, quit my diet, quit YouTube, just kidding. And we didn't really quit them all, but I think we're heading into a maintenance phase in a week or two. I did quit squatting, but we're gonna squat today. New drop this Monday, 8.15. If you wanna get early access and be part of the crew, check out Discord, link in the bio. We're gonna front squat today, and we'll go dig into why I actually quit. But we'll see you guys at the Power Expo. I'll be in Santa Clara, USAPL, California State Champs, August 13th and 14th, which is this weekend. Kicking it there. This launch goes live there before anyone else can have it. So if you're in California, Nevada, and you're heading there, I'll see you there. Last couple workouts before we head to the bay. Let's see what we got. First is getting a zit on your nose or on your lips. Do you ever have a zit there? Her so bad, I got like one. I'm not like embarrassed of him anymore. I do remember being a kid and being embarrassed, so embarrassed. Luckily I didn't have that bad I like acne or nothing. I understand adults or people that may be more embarrassed about it. I like pretty decent skin. My pores are a little big. Get the ones that are like under the skin sometimes. I don't know, you probably can't even see it. It just hurts. <laughs> Oh, dude, I can't talk to y'all and do more than one thing. I'm supposed to put my damn sleeves on. So I think we're going to front squat because I still got that front squat goal. I don't want you guys to come in here like, Mike, you never reach your goal. It's like, fuck you, man. You know, like, I like to have fun while I lift. These aren't like set in stones. These aren't the Ten Commandment type shits. They're just like goals that pop into my head. And since you guys are hanging out with me all the time, I mention them. The, the, the front squat, you know, 200 kg is like a long-term goal. They, they ain't going to happen overnight. I'm dieting. I've lost almost 60 pounds in a year and a half. So that's not just going to pop up and let me smash an all-time deal. Part of the issue is self-consciousness. I noticed my traps are disappearing. And that used to be the only good thing about my personality. And so I have to get those back. The other thing that happened was Isaac. Isaac happened. Isaac came up to me and said, hey, remember when you were a big deadlifter eight years ago? I said, excuse me, sir? That was only like five years ago. And so those two things combined made me think, all right, Mike, we should probably do something. And we're going into a maintenance phase with diet. So because I've lost 60 pounds and the pounds aren't shedding as fast as I need right now, and I've been on pretty drastic calories for four to six weeks, it's probably time to give my body and brain a break. So we'll probably find maintenance calories within August. Those three things combined, finding maintenance calories or building some muscle again, having energy to train hard again. I train moderate, but I'm not going crazy. Plus Isaac saying I'm old and can't deadlift no more. Plus my traps disappearing, which were the only good thing about me. I was like, damn, I need a deadlift again. So let's find like a more normal workout routine rather than squat every day or some extreme for fun. So it'll probably be front squatting Tuesdays, Thursdays. Oh, sorry, Monday, Thursdays, deadlifting Tuesdays, Fridays. Wednesday's gonna be abs and cardio only. And then the rest remain. We'll squat Monday, followed by pull day, biceps and back. Deadlift Tuesday, followed by chest and shoulders and tries, and then rinse repeat on the other days. Beginning of the week will be a little heavier, so reps one to three, more like an RPE eight or nine. Following exercises of the week will be more reps, so sets of like five to eight, uh, and more RPE seven or eight. So nice and basic, nice and clean, still tons of questions about my training programs and my split. That's what it is for now, see what happens. You do not have to switch your workups to make progress. You don't have to switch your workouts to get stronger or build more muscle. You just need to add stimulus over time, progressive overload. My number one goal over abs, over traps, over front squatting 200 kg is to enjoy my training. So what I may do may not be optimal for those goals if your goal is to be the best powerlifter of all time, but it's keeping me engaged in what I'm doing every day. And that's got to be number one for me. Conventional. I tried to go sumo in these vloggies and my little hippie got hurt. questions on the Instagram. Again, Sunga Michael, two kids if you want to get involved. There's something in the schedule book that some people found. It's like an Easter egg in video games and there may or may not be a ginormous collaboration of a powerlifting event happening right here at Third Street Barbell, Sacramento, California, February 4th and 5th. Details to come, follow the gym on Instagram, Third Street Barbell with a three. They'll announce it first and we'll probably announce it within like the next two weeks. So go follow Third Street on Instagram and you'll get all the info on a large collaboration. But that's all I can say for now. Ladies and gentlemen, Instagram, YouTube. When you ask a question, we have to stay intent on finding the answer. And so I get this question every single day for the last five years, especially now that TikTok's roaming around and it's, Mike, what's your training split? 
Well, I went over in the beginning of this video what my new one is, and the truth is your training split doesn't fucking matter. Training split is how I organize my training. That's like I got a plate of broccoli, chicken, and rice. Mike, which one do you eat first? It don't matter. I got the macronutrients and I'm gonna eat whichever one in whatever order. I could take a bite of each. I could eat all the broccoli, then all the rice, then all the chickens. I could go chicken, rice, chicken, rice, chicken, rice, then broccoli. It's just how we organize our training. So stop worrying about that as much. Focus on volume, how much you're training, um, and then how to fit it into what your goals are. So we got struggles with dieting. We got other questions about struggling getting back into the gym and routine. It's really easy to have discipline in things you enjoy. When things are new, new to your routine, new to your programming, uh, new to your lifestyle, things that are more difficult that you don't always enjoy. I don't enjoy eating lettuce and chicken breasts all day. It's not something I choose to go down. Some people do, right? Some people like bland food or can eat the same thing all the time. That's not me. We got to build routine. We got to build it into our day, build it into our schedule. And then the next layer of that is we have to make it easier on ourselves. If you're trying to diet and you're trying to eat more nutrient dense foods and stay within your caloric limits for what your goals are. Don't have jumbo Oreo sitting every day you walk by the kitchen. Don't let yourself see them. Don't put it in your house. If you have kids or you have other people living with you, it does become more difficult. Trust me. I have two roommates who are 6'5 and they have very different goals than me. Sometimes I'm walking by the kitchen and there's pizza out there. Pizza doesn't fit into my current plan. As strict as your goals are, it's as strict as your plan needs to be. If you're trying to get dick skin shredded and step on stage, you gotta be very strict with your nutrients. If you're just trying to drop five, 10 pounds, we can be a little bit looser, but we still have to have a goal, have a program. Set yourself up by success by preparing. I shop one week at a time. Sometimes if you can, shop a day at a time. I cook one day at a time. Some people cook five days at a time. Build it into your lifestyle, something that's repeatable and something that prepares you with those goals. Again, don't drive through food and have the temptation of ordering a Big Mac when you're hungry. Have the food prepared, whether that means cooked for you or raw in the, in the fridge, ready for you to cook, so you can reach the goals that you want to reach. One, that's like three. That's not too bad, huh? That's like three. They used to be big. When you play basketball, you get big calves. Ladies and gentlemen, Powerfest Expo, 13th, 14th, I'll be in Santa Clara. Big announcements on the way for that collaboration meet. And this Monday, August 15th, 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 15th. Y'all probably don't even know commercials like that, huh? Like Friday, Friday, Friday? Or Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Hey. <laughs> See, I know, I know. Seabass was in diapies watching shitty commercials. Uh, 3sb.co, the full phys ed drop will be live. Grab it while you can. Again, everything small batch. When it sells out, it sells out. No restocks, man. We over me. Be a part of something bigger than yourself. Sell the mic. I'm out.